Hi everyone, this is Ajay Nirman. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, task management and free autos, uh, and we are going to test it practically with Arduino. Before that, uh, for uh, a person who is very new to operating systems, we will discuss about what is operating system in brief and what is real time operating systems in brief. So, operating system is a software that manages computer hardware and software resources. It provides common services for the computer program and the operating system controls the hardware and coordinates among the various application programs for the various users. So if you have a user 1, user 2, user 3 who are requesting for application programs like editors or some kind of software or so something is running and assume that those software uh, always uh, works with the hardware like uh, even if a keyboard or a mouse connects to that editor like we type in and uh, those things are taken care by operating system and the operating systems in, uh, act as an interface between application programs and hardware. Next, we will look into real-time operating systems. Real-time operating system, it serves real-time applications without delay. Then it means like autos based systems are time bound which works with well-defined time constraint and system that can miss deadline with res less probability is soft real-time system. So in autos we have soft real-time operating systems and hard real-time systems. So the systems which can miss deadline uh, with less probability it is like it should always not, uh, not uh, meet, meet if, if it doesn't meet uh, the deadline always then it doesn't become a soft real-time. So it's like it is allowed like for le in a less probability it is allowed and that becomes a soft real-time OS. But a hard real time system should never miss the deadline and it should definitely work, respond to the given uh, uh, given uh, input and if it doesn't respond it might lead to uh, many problems. So uh, we will discuss about what is that problem here. Uh, it is like um, if we have an airbag system in our uh, vehicles, uh, we, uh, what happens is uh, if it doesn't if uh, it is going to be uh, if, if it is going to end up in an accident and the hard um, airbag system doesn't eject what happens is uh, the per person sitting inside will get injured <coughs> injured so in such cases it uh, hard real systems has to uh, come into picture that is it works with, uh, uh, with which, uh, which doesn't miss, meet the uh, miss the deadline so next case is some of the autos. It is like QNX, RT Linux, VXWorks, and Mucos, and free autos. These are some of autos. Um, so the autos which are used in uh, industry is um, mainly like VXWorks and Mucos or some uh, um, QNX. The uh, aut these autos are actually licensed. So free autos is one which we can use. And free autos is suitable for um, many hardwares like uh, for 8 bit control, like take uh, and then for ARM processors with uh, M0, M4, and uh, many other, it supports many other hardware. So, we are going to test this in uh, Arduino at Mega328 and see how it works. Uh, let's start. So, here uh, we have our Arduino ID. Uh, first of all, how to install free autos in Arduino? It is like we have to go. Uh, select sketch from there uh, include library and then manage library see to that your you have your internet connected to your pc and then once you get this window you can type in um, free autos like this and you can see here uh, there is a package with free autos by richard Barry. Uh, I have it installed. So next, you uh, you will get an install button, so you can install it and then click OK, and make sure you have your internet connection, and then do this, then click OK and close. Once you have installed, you can see uh, under examples you have free autos in, uh, uh, with an example. It is like it is installed, and we have some examples. I took this example and um, I have made some modification to explain the task management. So here we are going to uh, discuss about how to create a task function and how uh, to handle the task uh, task priorities. So here 
uh, this is my code uh, i will give this code uh, disc, uh, in the video description uh, then you can uh, click on the link and then get it so first we, i have a task uh, like first of all we can see here ha we have hash include like we have included uh, the header file here that is free or free or dot h then we have two uh, function prototypes task one and task two these are two function uh, tasks which we are going to see now so task one uh, we have one prototype and task two we have another prototype then we are going to print uh, we are using serial dot begin here is uh, is just to print something on serial console it's like we have uh, see, printing is going to become a task here so here it is written in some order uh, so it is similar to that written here it is like we have x task create a function which passes the task one as a function and then uh, constant port um, port cap star that is a pointer uh, here you don't need to um, think about um, think more about this here you can just use this as a name here uh, just a name any name uh, the, if, now i'm using task one here so i'm going to use task one here and then it is stack depth uh, stack depth always to be calculated and properly fixed it's like um, uh, in uh, pc we can have more um, stack depth uh, because we have more memory so here uh, we have to handle it properly next uh, we have pv parameters that is like we, uh, we have some task function accept parameters and we will uh, discuss about this uh, later again uh, here uh, we have uh, priority this is priority so where uh, one becomes uh, lowest priority two becomes highest priority and three becomes the most highest priority it is like that and then um, uh, here again we have a px create a task uh, that is all like we have passed null here we will discuss about this in the next video then similarly we have task uh, one created here so we are creating another task that is uh, task two and uh, we are having the same memory depth and we, are, we have named it as task two here and we have uh, priority one so all same priority uh, task one and task two are same priority then uh, Vita scheduler is it's uh, it, this is uh, the scheduler which is going to schedule which tasks to uh, work first or put in running state or block state all those things we'll discuss about this and next uh, what is the task going to do so this is the one which uh, this is a function task function we have prototype now we have function here task is actually going to print the uh, task so here our task is to print a uh, task is run task one is running and I will command this we'll see about this later again uh, we have uh, one more uh, task 2 here uh, again it, this task 2 is to print task 2 is running that's it so these are our tasks it's like it is going to print task 1 is running and task 2 is running now what happens is uh, let's upload the code and uh, see how it works so you can see my uh, Arduino Uno is connected to COM29 and then now let me upload the code Let's wait for some time. The code is uploaded now. Uh, now we can open the serial console. You can see task one and task two. We uh, uh, click on this auto scroll. It is like uh, both are running together and it's uh, not able to print it properly because here we have two equal priority. Uh, that is task one also has priority one and uh, the, uh, task two also has equal priority. So now what we will do is change this to task uh, two. Uh, I mean uh, task 1 to uh, uh, have an higher priority so now task 2 has lower priority and task 1 has higher priority and then we will upload the code and test so now what happens is we will see the output now since we have this task 1 having one uh, the higher priority the scheduler allows the task 1 to be in running state and we have this again we can check uh, for task 2 also we will change this to 2 and this to 1 so now task 2 has a higher priority and then I am going to upload the code and we are going to see the output
so now we have task 2 running so task 1 become the lowest priority and task 2 become uh, becomes a higher priority now so um, task 2 runs so schedule allows task 2 to run the next comes um, one more thing it's like i'm going to remove this comment here and let's upload the code and check the output now we can see task 1 and task 2 both running um, because of this delay and what is this delay doing here this about this we will discuss in another video thank you thanks a lot try to uh, work on it and uh, do low uh, do let me know things in comment and uh, thank you thanks a lot